We are here with Kevin Gage. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time out today and congratulations on Crossfire. Mm. I'm such a huge fan of yours and of course back from G.I. Jane and... Oh God, I was so thin and handsome then. <laughs> You're still very, very handsome. Fat and not handsome. No. <laughs> Fat and old. We're so excited today for the premiere of Crossfire. Likewise. I would love to know how you actually got on board with the project. Well, Yadhu, uh, Krishnan, he, he, was, uh, he wrote a film called Escape from Blackwater. Yes. And uh, we didn't meet in there in India. That's where the movie was shot. But uh, I can't remember if it was Krishnan that reached out to me or if it was Louis Mandalore. Mm -hmm. But one of the two, Louis Mandalore is a dear old friend of mine. I, I, think, I think it was uh, Yahoo that just called me. Uh, Louis gave me my phone number and I was in Santa Barbara and he sent me the script and liked it a lot and Louis was in it and liked Louis a lot and found out a lot of the other crew that we were working with, I knew them. And uh, the character that he wanted me to play, uh, I liked that a lot because I didn't have a lot of dialogue and he was creepy, <laughs> which as you know, I like doing creepy characters. So that's, uh, <clears throat> that's, that's how it all started. Yeah, you to, uh... So for, for this specific character in the script, how, how, did, how did you feel about it? Did you feel like you needed to prepare off screen a little differently or you were very comfortable with it? Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, I, I'm just comfortable doing creepy guys. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't have to, uh, I don't have to do a lot of research or obviously I know my lines, the dialogue, but when I work, uh, I don't know, I, I, a, lot of, a lot of actors uh, and musicians, people before they go on stage, comedians, they have to prep and you know, I don't do that. I prep before and when I go to work, I'll be sitting here talking and laughing with you while they're saying, okay, speeding, and then I'll get up and, and I can just jump right into what I'm doing. How uh, would you describe your role? Was it more villain? Did we understand the villain? Did we... Definitely he... villain. <laughs> of course. Definitely villain. Will the audience catch a soft spot for the villain? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> You're that great. <laughs> well, I really don't know. I haven't seen the film yet, and editing's everything. So yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what's uh, what's in and what's out. But if I had to guess, I'd say, well, they might. And I can't tell you why. I don't want to give away the film. But yeah, it's a possibility. So on set, usually with action-filled uh production not everything goes as planned do you remember never. <laughs> <laughs> never was there any moment or incident during production that just was you guys just had to take over and be like okay we're never gonna forget this actually for me on this one i did not have uh there were not too many field adjustments that, that i had to worry about uh, i had a stunt double that did a lot of stuff so i kind of came in and out and they were so uh, uh, they were so punctual uh, with me and the things that I had to do. So, uh, no, the, uh, it, it went real smooth. So, with that, what do you think actually makes a, a really successful movie? Is it environment? Is it... There are so many factors. I was going to say in my opinion, but it's not an opinion. It's a fact. It's, it's everything from uh, development, the script, uh, all of the... the behind the scenes stuff, the crew, all of the magic has to come together to make a, a really great film. And I think uh, you can have the best script, the best directors, you can have the best actors, best editors, the best crew, but if, if it all doesn't come together, it's kind of like making a cake, I think. Everything has to be perfectly layered. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's tough to, for, to make really, really good films. And I like most films, but the ones that stand out, uh, it just the magic just happens, has to be there uh, with everybody collaborating. I think uh, you can equate it to music, same thing. You know, there's a lot of good songs out there, but there's some that just they make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've worked a lot on major productions alongside um, amazing actors. What is your favorite concept or idea of working on independent films? I like working on independent films for a few reasons. New filmmakers uh, yes. is, is the big one. You know, studio pictures, they had had and 
control pretty much of everything. So for young filmmakers and, and actors and uh, crews, uh, anybody, it was a very difficult business to get into. Uh, so now uh, with all of the independence, it's a much more relaxed atmosphere. The job gets done quicker. The screenplay touches base on a lot of different topics such as drug peddling and sex trafficking. Can you give me your thoughts about the importance of having <clears throat> these issues and storylines like this? As ugly as it is, it's something that people should be aware of and uh, hopefully hopefully one day <laughs> there's just that doesn't happen anymore yeah. uh, because it's 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 awful. So the, that part of the film that's that's not pretty. So any upcoming projects we can hear about? There's always something I think in the infinite entertainment pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a meeting for uh, Den of Thieves, uh, the sequel, Den of Thieves oh, wow. 2. Uh, uh, and I love Gerard Butler, so uh, I, I haven't gotten the job yet and more than likely don't because that's pretty much our business. We're in the rejection business. Films coming out, uh, I just did something with Frank Grillo called Lights Out. That's something. Uh, Day Labor, that might be out already. That was a, another one with Louie. Uppercut, mm. that's coming up. Escape from Blackwater, which I, by the way, am looking very forward to seeing, not just because Yad who's here. Uh, it's, uh, we had a lot of fun shooting that movie, and, and I love uh, prison films and uh, escape prison cool. movies, so I'm looking very forward to that one. <laughs> I can't wait to see you on the screen tonight. Thank you. And congratulations again, and thank you so much for being here with us today. And low-key, I'm actually very excited to interview, so... <laughs> Thank you. You so make much. me feel more important than I am. Thank you. Thank you so much.